What is up everybody? <laughs> We're back with another Procreate tutorial. So a couple of you have asked me, how do you draw animals with multiple colors and more specifically, how do you draw a Yorkie? So here we are today. Drawing animals with multiple colors can be real tricky, so I'm gonna break it down for you. I like to start with the topmost layer and then work my way downwards. So we're gonna start with the nose, then add the snout, and then finish with the eyes, forehead, and ears. All right, you got all that? Let's start with the nose. So as I was saying before, I like to start with the top layer and then just work my way down, adding layers underneath. So as you can see, I'm starting out with the nostrils, and one thing I want to know is every time I add a new layer, I'm adding it above the reference image. Next, I'm going to add the highlights of the nose. So you guys can actually eye drop colors directly from your reference photo. Or what I actually like to do is select one base color. And then based on the base color, I like to select two shadow colors and two highlight colors directly from the color palette. This will make sure that all of the colors family together nicely. So as you guys can see, I already drew in the highlight color. So the next thing we're gonna do is using our new color palette, I'm gonna draw in the darker shadows. Then I'm gonna create a new layer and add the next shadow color underneath. And you guys, I do not know why this nose is purple. I just, I dropped a color from the reference image, but I kinda like it. But anyways, so I'm just adding in the second highlight color and then adding the base underneath all the layers. The last thing I like to do is merge all of the nose layers together by pressing merge down and this will just save on some layers. Moving on to drawing the snout and chin. Okay, this is when it starts to get a little tricky. So go ahead and eye drop a color from your reference image and make sure that the colors in the color palette kind of match the colors of your dog's fur. For example, if you eye drop a color and the color palette looks like this, it may not work as well. But anyways, once you have your color selected, go ahead and add a new layer above your reference image like always. And then I'm gonna go in and start drawing the fur around the nose. Now grab another color from your reference image. Be sure to do your color palette check and then just continue by drawing the next layer of fur. Another thing, don't be afraid to just freestyle a color. Sometimes I don't even go to the reference image to pick up color. Instead, I just go straight to the color palette and pick up a color that looks similar to the area that I'm drawing. I do this because sometimes I've found that when you eye drop a color from the reference image, it actually turns out to be a little muddy when you apply it to the illustration. I say a good rule of thumb is, you know, just trust your eyeballs. If a color looks good, it looks like it matches the reference image, then, you know, no one will ever know the difference. And if you happen to start drawing and you notice that the color doesn't match the reference image, just know you can go back to that layer and change the color of the items on that layer. Here's an example of me doing just that. So as you can see, I'm choosing a color that's way too orange. So I just went back to the color palette and chose a more brownish color. All you do is drag and drop the new color and you're good to go. So I'm just gonna continue through drawing the different shapes and the different colors. And one thing to note, I like to draw the areas that seem to be on top of all of the other areas first and work my way down. So as you can see, this light piece of fur seemed to be overlapping some of the other hairs, so I drew that next. So yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward a bit and then I'll meet you guys back at drawing the eyes. All right, now for the eyes. First, start a new layer, grab the color white, and we're just gonna fill in a couple highlights in the eyes. 
Next, add another layer underneath and this is gonna be for our pupils. Next, we're gonna fill in the eye color and just like we did the nose before, I'm gonna start out with a darker shadow color and then I'm gonna fill in the base color in a layer underneath. The last thing I'm gonna do is fill in the little doggy eyelashes and eyeliner and that's it for the eyes. So I'm just gonna continue drawing, adding for around the eyes, then moving up to the forehead, and then finishing off with the ears. At this point, I've already selected all of the colors I'm gonna use, so I'm really just using the same colors over and over again, um, unless I come upon a new color. So I'm just gonna fast forward a bit, and yeah, you guys can just enjoy a little speed drawing, and I'll meet you back at adding text and background color. Let's finish up this photo with a background color and text. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just turn off the reference image, and then I'm gonna group all of these layers together so that they're easier to select later. So I'm just swiping each layer to the right in order to select them, and then I'm just pressing the group button at the top. So using the direct selection tool, now I'm able to move all of the objects together. So I'm just centering these on my artboard and then just click the background layer and then this color palette will automatically pop up for you to add a background color. To add text, go to the wrench tool, press add and then add text and a little text box will pop up. I'm gonna choose the color white, type in our little puppy's name and then you can pull up the styles panel where you can choose a font, the size, the tracking, and I chose uppercase. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's nice and centered and then we can save out our image. Oh, one thing I like to do before I finish is I actually add a new layer. I'm gonna name it touch ups. And this is when I go through and fill in the areas that didn't get filled with color you know, sharpen up any of the furs, make your lines look nice. You know, just the finishing touches. Okay, now I'll show you how to export your image. So go to the wrench tool, go to share, JPEG, and then this little window will pop up and I'm just gonna press save image. This will drop your image right into your photo library and yeah, you should be good to go. So I'm just gonna pull up my photo library and here is our image. 
looking nice. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And until next time, peace out.